got swag, we got swag. I got, you got, we got, we got swag, we got swag. And we say with the, and we say with the, and we say with the amazing grace. And we say with the, and we say with the, and we say with the amazing grace. Say with the amazing grace. You got swag, I got swag, you got swag, I got swag. Oh, well, hello, swag. Hi, everyone. High five, high five, high five, and high five to our youth for doing that swag song. Great job, Ari and Gabby, Raven and Robbie. That is fantastic way to start off swag. So today is a really big celebration. It is Mother's Day, and like I'm doing my morning chores, like Mama always said, do your morning chores early so you have the rest of the day to yourself. And so we get to celebrate all the mothers and mother figures like our nanas and our titis, our big mamas and madres. So, wow, I wonder what we could come up with. I know we can come up with something special, but first, oh, what's that? What's that, mama? Oh, okay, check the mac and cheese, check the mac and cheese. So she says, check the mac and cheese. Let's take a look. Looks so yummy. Oh, I can't wait for my mother's fat mac and cheese. I know it is the best in the world. I don't know about your mother's mac and cheese, but my mother's mac and cheese is so, so super delicious. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what are we going to plan? What should we do for Mother's Day, huh? You guys got any ideas? I have a really good idea, but um, did you hear that? Oh, what's that, Mom? Oh, okay. We have guests coming? Yeah. Oh, oh, you want me to vacuum? Okay, all right. Oh, I got vacuum, y'all. Okay. Okay, got that done. Now, back to the big surprise for Mama. Let's see. Oh, what's that? You hear that? Oh, Mama, what'd you say? Oh, okay, fold the clothes. All right, we gotta get the clothes out the laundry. Okay, gotta go fold the clothes. Be right back, Swag. Okay, got that done. <laughs> I had to take care of that right away because, you know, when mama says do something, she means do it now. She does not mean wait for later. <laughs> she means now. You know mama means business, right? <laughs> and that's actually the ultimate gift we can give our mothers on this day, this Mother's Day, is to actually do what they ask us to do. That is the ultimate respect that we can give them. Isn't that one of our Ten Commandments as well? You know, in the Bible, it says, honor thy mother and thy father. Ephesians 6 and 2 says, honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Mothers have a very special place with God and they have a very special ministry with their children. Mothers go all the way back to Eve, which we're learning from Professor Kristen, right? As we study the book of Genesis. We also know that our Lord Jesus, he was born unto the Virgin Mary. So he had a mother. And it reminds me of a story, actually, with Jesus and his mother, where he had to do what she said. Do you guys remember his first miracle when he turned water into wine? Well, let's review that story. That story is found in John, the Gospel of John, in chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. And we won't read the whole thing, and I will summarize that story for you. There's two verses that we want to pay particular attention to. But the story starts out where Jesus is invited to a wedding. And back in those days, weddings were big parties. They were festivals. There was so much, you know, activity. There was so much fun, so much fun. And the choice of drink during that time was wine. Well, they had run out of wine. So in verse three says, when they ran out of wine, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. When Jesus's mother called him, he responded. He came to her. He was there and he respected her. That is a sign of respect. Jesus is fulfilling a need upon his mother's request. When our mothers want us to meet a need, right? I mean, like take today, for instance, I needed to do the dishes. I needed to vacuum because we're gonna have guests. I needed to fold the clothes. Oh, and most important, check that macaroni and cheese. But, but 
there was a need being served. So when our mothers call upon us, just think there's a need that you're serving. There is a purpose behind her calling you. Okay, so the story goes on. In John 2, verse 5, it says, His mother said to the servants, Whatever he says to you, do it. And that is so much like a mother, right? She went straight into action, told the servants, whatever my son says to do, do it. Because mothers know. That's what makes mothers so special is he hadn't performed. Jesus had not performed any miracles up to this point. He had shown any signs, but she'd been there nurturing him as he grew up from a child into a man. So she knew there was something special inside of him. So whatever he said, she knew he could do something. The Bible says that whatever he says, she didn't know what it would turn out to be, but she knew it would be something. And that's how our mothers are with us. They believe in us. Your mother believes in you, knows that there is something very special inside of you, knows that you can bring your best to the table. Like Jesus tells the servants, fill the jugs up with water. And they fill the water all the way up to the brim. And the master of the, of the feast, he asked for more wine. And so as they're pouring, they're not knowing what they're pouring, right? Because they filled the jugs up with water. And the master tasted it and he says, he's astounded. He's like, not only is this the best wine, but you saved it for last. He's just blown away. And that's what Jesus does. This is his first miracle, but it blows everyone away. It goes above and beyond expectations. And that's what we should do for our mothers. Every time she asks us to do something, give our best, right? And go above and beyond her expectations. And that is the ultimate way as well on how to honor them. Honor thy mother and thy father. We want to honor them in the best way, by giving our best, by doing our best, by being our best. And I know that you can do that, especially on this day, right? Okay, so let us pray. Father God, we thank you for our mothers today and our mother figures and even our mothers in heaven as they look down upon us, Lord God. We are so thankful for their believing in us, for caring and nurturing us as we grew up, for their advice, Lord God, and even for telling us what to do, for we know it is the right thing to do, Lord God. Continue to watch over us during this pandemic. Keep us safe from harm and danger, Lord God, and most of all, keep us healthy. It is in thy name we pray, amen. Thank you so much. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, to all the nanas, to all the big mamas, the madres, every mother figure that is out there. We bless you and we thank you for everything that you do for us. All right, enjoy the rest of the service. Have a good day. Mwah.